South Dakota's first diverging diamond is now open for drivers. Kelly Lance Tyler Louder, he rode along with a few Rapid City locals to see it up close and get their opinions of the new construction. Drivers are happy that the construction is over, but adapting to change takes time. So my first reaction was, it'll be a little interesting driving on the opposite side of the road for a second, but as long as you're paying attention to the street signs, nothing's too confusing, it's just slightly different. After Wednesday's ribbon cutting ceremony, the Divergent Diamond Interchange has been fully functional. And since I've been out here in the past five minutes, hundreds of cars have easily gotten on and off the interstate. As locals try and adjust to the new interchange, some are finding it doesn't take as long as you might think. After I had to turn left, once I got that done, then it made sense once I got across it. It feels easier. It, it's kind of comparable to the one over to the east of us. Uh, yeah, it makes it for a smoother transition, not having to cross traffic while traffic's in the way. As Rapid City grows, advancements come in something we all have to accept as the years go by. Having more advanced or more modern ways of traveling through the cities and different intersections is a part of that, and I think it's well needed, and it's only, it's only gonna make things smoother. It's not making anything more complicated. And Once people get used to the change, seeing the safety and ease will come naturally. In Rapid City, Tyler Lauder, Kelo Land News. Yeah, we're going to have to get used to it here in Sioux Falls, too. And if you'd like to learn more about these interchanges, we have links on our website.